Hello, my dear students of Sheikh Abu Gumi Academy. Welcome to our online tutorial for today. Uh, inshallah, we are going to be taking a look at area of a rectangle. This is a grade four topic. So basing it quickly, it's important for us to know the meaning of area before we look at how to find the area of a rectangle. Now, the area of a shape is simply a measure of its surface, okay? The area of a shape is a measure of its surface, meaning the area of a rectangle is a measure of the surface of the rectangle. I hope we are together. Now, very quickly, if I have a rectangle like this, This is my rectangle. Usually, there are two dimensions used to describe a rectangle, where we have length, breadth, length, and breadth. Now, the measure of its surface here is what is referred to as the area. And the area of a rectangle is usually, uh, is usually obtained by multiplying the length with the breadth. Meaning the area is length times breadth. Length times breadth. Very simple. Okay, we are going to take some examples to quickly see how we apply this formula in calculating the area of rectangle. Now, this area is usually, the unit for this area is centimeter squared or meter square as the case may be so quickly we are going to be taking an example to see how we can get the area of a rectangle okay example one find the area of a rectangle whose length and breadth are five centimeters and three centimeters respectively. Five centimeters and three centimeters respectively. Apparently what we are talking about is Solution to this problem. This implies that we are talking about a rectangle like this. A supposed rectangle with this dimension. If I assume this to be the length 5 centimeters, it means three, this side is 3 centimeters. This is exactly what you are asked to find. Now, the solution to this problem, I know that the area is length times breadth. The area of this rectangle is what? Length times breadth. Which means the area is, the length is what? From the question here, I know that the length L is 5 centimeters. The breadth B is what? 3 centimeters. So, the area is 5 multiplied by 3. The length times the result is 5 Centimeters multiplied by 3 centimeters, and this will give me 15. Centimeters times centimeters will give me centimeters squared. I hope it's okay. Now, this is how you find the area of a rectangle. Quickly, let's look at another example. Example 2. The length of a given rectangle is nine centimeters. Find 
its area if the breadth is five centimeters. Okay, so let's quickly see the solution to this problem. I know that from this question, they said the length is nine centimeters. The breadth B is five centimeters. That's the ideal thing to do. First of all, from the question, you itemize the parameters or you itemize the dimensions before you now put down your formula, which is the area will give us length times breadth. And that area, my length is nine centimeters. My breadth is five centimeters. If you multiply this, we are going to have 45 centimeters squared. 45 centimeters squared. I hope we are together. Yes. Let's, um, let's quickly take another example. So I will see the frame forms in which these questions can actually arise. Okay? Uh, sometimes you may be given the area of a particular rectangle and then one of the two other parameters and you'll be asked to get the second one. What am I saying? Let's see such example in this uh, example three. Now, you are asked to find, I said find the length of a rectangle with an area of 50 centimeter squared if its length if its breadth rather since you are asked to find the length if its breadth if its breadth is given as five centimeters. Now, how do we track this question? Or how do we solve this question better? If the area has been given as this and the breadth has been given as this, we are asked to find the length. So, I see the area, the solution to this problem, solution, yes, the area is 50 centimeter squared. Then the breadth B is five centimeters, but the length has not been given. So what we are going to do is applying the formula. I know that my area is length times breadth, which means 50 centimeters squared. That is substituting the value for the area here into its position in the formula will give me this. Then multiplied by the length, which is not known then by the breadth, which is what? Five centimeters. Now, how do I obtain my length from here? I'll divide both sides by five centimeters so that this five will cancel this five. That is how it is done, okay? I'll divide both sides by five so that this five will cancel this. I have my length to be equal to 50 divided by five, which will give me 10 centimeters squared Divided by centimeters will give me centimeters. So it means my length is 10 centimeters. I hope it is okay. Okay? Let's look at our last possibilities. At times, you may be given uh, the length and you'll be asked to find the breadth. Just in this example we are going to look at now. Example four. We're taking the last possible example now. Now you are asked to uh, solve a question like this. They said the length of a particular rectangle is 
six centimeters. Right? Find the breadth if its area is thirty centimeter square. If its area is thirty centimeter square. Now let's look at it very well. The solution to this problem. Solution. The length is given as six centimeters. Yes. The area is thirty centimeters squared, but the breadth is unknown. So applying the formula, area is length times breadth. It is very important for you to memorize this formula because that is what you are going to be applying as far as the area of a rectangle is concerned. So the area here, I'll substitute the values directly into the formula. So I'll have 30 centimeters squared to be equal to, uh, the value of the length is six centimeters multiplied by the value of the breadth, which is unknown, so I can replace it with B. Now, as the case is here, the ideal thing for me to do is to divide both sides by the coefficient of this b here because since they are multiplying each other it means this is actually a coefficient of this so if i divide both sides by that six centimeters six centimeters this will cancel out this i have my b to be 30 centimeters divided by six centimeters which will give me what five centimeters is the breadth okay which means the breadth is five centimeters i hope we are together um very quickly let's look at the exercises i'm going to be giving you some exercises to attempt on your own so that we'll test how much or how far you have understood what we did so far so let's take the exercises now One. Find the area of a rectangle whose length and breadth are eight centimeters and five centimeters respectively. For the second one, I will choose to dictate so you listen attentively. Now, the area, question two now, the area of a particular rectangle, the area of a particular rectangle is 42 centimeters squared. Is 42 centimeters squared. If its length is seven centimeters, find the breadth. If its length is seven centimeters, find the breadth. Try that question. That's all we have for you today. See you some other time and have a lovely day. Thank you.